Hello Aries, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Aries, this is your reading for the month of uh, October and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice so versa and time is fluid. In this reading, Aries, we'll see what is your energy, what you need to know for the month of October and what are the general messages and what are the love messages you need to know. There is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in the description box and comment section, Aries. I'm shuffling the cards, I'll lay them down and then we'll see what you need to know, okay? So let's get started now. I have shuffled the cards. We have 10 of wands. I'm gonna lay them down first. We have the emperor. Then we have the hierophant. Then we have the Ace of Swords. Then we have the Knight of Wands. Okay. And then we have the Empress. Interesting. We have Emperor and Empress over here. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have Ten of Swords. If I have to talk about the Zodiac signs, I see another Aries. I see Libra. I see Taurus. Aquarius. Leo. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs, okay? You will see a lot of 333, a lot of 555, a lot of 1111 as well, or 111 as well. Uh, Aries, what I see over here, uh, the, the foremost important thing for you for the next uh, upcoming days or for the month of October is that you want to eliminate any reason, thing, situation or a person who is either a burden on your, uh, is either a burden for you or who is trying to exercise their influence on you and trying to distract you away from whatever your goals are or whatever you want to do. See, there are some peoples or there are some energies, right? We try to do something and they make sure that they are creating certain obstacles in, in our path, right? So if at all you're surrounded by such kind of people or if at all there are certain situations which you think are draining you to a large extent and you're gaining almost nothing from that situation, you will eliminate such kind of situations you will eliminate such kind of people from your life because your main goal is you want to bring everything under control you want to make sure that your life is going the way you want it to go okay your life is pro uh, proceeding it is progressing it is moving in the right direction and it is moving the way you want it to go you don't want someone else to exercise influence on you and you don't want someone else to tell you or to how to run your life or you don't want someone else to create obstacles on your path, right? So any such kind of factors are getting eliminated and your focus is not only on eliminating such factors but also on creating a desired life and work towards the desired goals, okay? Uh, you don't want your life to look unorganized. You don't want your life to look that everything is scattered, Not it's not under the control, okay? Because you want some sort of clarity. You, you're like, I want to move in a certain direction or I want certain things to happen in my life, but you won't have that clarity, like where you want to go or what you want to do unless and until your life is is bit organized okay or unless and until things are under control if your attention if your energy is going towards uh, you know like it is if it is going towards something where it should not be going okay you're you're like wasting your time and your energy then and that is something you don't want to do right uh i also feel aries that uh you will start thinking about your love life pretty seriously okay you will be like you're kind of envisioning your life maybe 10 20 years down the line and you're like 
this is how I want my life to be 10 years down the line, 20 years down the line. And when you see your life 10 years down the line, you see yourself getting married to someone by then. You see probably for some of you, you want to have family, you want to have kids. You see you, you're having kids. Okay. So there is a long-term vision that you are having and you see yourself expanding. Uh, you see your life getting expanded. You see you including someone else in your life on a long-term basis. Okay. And, and that's why I see that you are taking yourself very seriously. You're taking your vision, your plans very seriously. And when you see in your vision that you want to get married 10 years down the line, you want to see yourself married to someone, you will start taking it pretty seriously. And that's what I'm sensing over here. You're very much open to right kind of people. You're very much open to a long-term committed situation. You're very much open to inviting the right kind of a person. Okay. And uh, it's, it's likely that you are actually manifesting a divine counterpart for yourself because we have the emperor and the empress over here. Okay. So these are very strong uh, major arcanas. You're manifesting someone who is just like you, someone who is as powerful as, uh, uh, as powerful as you are. Okay. Uh, whoever you're manifesting Aries is already an abundant person in every sense. Okay. They are in a phase of their life where they are satisfied and they're content and they're also open. Whoever this person is, okay. Uh, he or she, they're also open to, um, to uh, to a long-term situation. We have Empress right below the Hierophant and Emperor right next to the Hierophant. So I think so your thoughts, your vision is very much aligned. Okay, you want the next person you want in, in your life. It has to be a, a committed uh, situation with that person. Okay, having said so, I also feel like maybe for some of you people from the past are uh, showing up in your life. Uh, someone from the past wants to get into a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you, okay? Um, they are feeling absolutely passionate about, you know, coming back to you. This person from the past is thinking that they are not able to forget you, okay? Their life has been, is, is completely uh, shattered without you and that is why I am getting this message that someone wants to get into a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. For some of you, this can be a past person. For some of you, there is going to be an expression of love with the next person that is going to happen. Okay. Uh, but I also feel like even if the past person comes back, you will kind of feel like you don't want them. Okay. Okay. And even if you're open to allowing them in your life, you will kind of recognize that they are still more or less the same. They are still that immature soul. They are still that unawakened soul. They are still that uh, there is a lot of uncertain energy about them. And that is something uh, that that is a, a huge put off for you. Okay, you don't want something like, something like that when you're thinking about a long term situation. Nevertheless, I do see like many of you are attracting uh, someone new, okay, rather than the past. So this is what your energy is about, about for the month of October. I hope this resonates, Aries. Hit like, share and subscribe. Comment down below. The link for the extended is in a description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you. An action they will take towards you and likely conclusion between you and this person. Alright, take care, have a great time and bye-bye.